hi Sagittarius. I hope that everybody's doing well. Before we get into this, I would like to set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated. And ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. So it's really interesting. I thought that I just saw the the temperance card, which is Sagittarian energy, um, which would allude to, I um, was seeing it tied into the eight of swords here. It's almost like you working out, um, working out of a space mentally, maybe you had been feeling kind of like constricted within this space, within the mind space something that you're working out here it's like you could be all up in your head about something more simply put but i'm seeing you working out of that working through and beyond is what i'm hearing yeah it was like mentally you were feeling poorly for some reason i'm hearing for whatever that reason may be sagittarius Okay, so I'm looking at Libra here. The Justice card can speak on, um, like, the legal system. Maybe something going on, Sag. Seeing judgment being called. Like, you could have been caught up in something. Something that's balancing out, okay? Okay. Like, ooh, I'm seeing someone tap you on your shoulder here. Maybe you were pulled out of a situation. Or, like, maybe you were on some sort of roll and got pulled out. Like, maybe whatever moment this is that you're having, it's giving you time to, like, take a breath for a second. Specifically, I'm hearing something about hearing the call. I'm getting that this is something that's going to be moving you maybe in an elevated spiritual direction. Yeah, I'm seeing some sort of timeout that's been called. It's like, I don't know if this was someone around you or like this was something that happened on your own regard but I'm seeing a situation here and it's like you could have done something impulsively remember energies can always be reversed this can be someone you were involved with I am looking at Pluto and Libra here I'm hearing Leo as well it's like you could have impulsively done something and there may be a sense of regret that's tied to this as well it's like I'm getting a notion of someone getting caught doing something with the judgment being called, especially with justice as well. Hmm. So it's like, either you did something that you regret, or somebody does something that they regret, somebody you were dealing with. Okay. I'm seeing that... Whatever this impulsivity is that happened, like, whatever action was taken, this can be finding out that, like, somebody wasn't faithful in a connection. This can just all around be, like, making impulsive decisions, something like that. I'm hearing grandfathered in. Sagittarius. I'm looking at something that's going on i'm hearing an aries season i am looking at the emperor here it's like i'm seeing there be some something relevant along the timeline is what i'm hearing i'm seeing a relationship um that we had and i don't know if it's the actual relationship that is breaking apart and ending like because of someone's behavior or this is just about that behavior ending like I'm seeing there almost be a sense of remorse here
for whatever action was being taken, an action that happened impulsively, it's almost like something happened and there wasn't much thought behind it, I'm getting. And maybe you feel like you're wising up in a sense. Yeah, I'm seeing like something really went wrong here. Maybe even you knew there was a risk that you were taking and it kind of came back to you in some sort of way. But I'm seeing this is going to help your growth, even though it feels unfortunate, whatever situation this is that you're going through right now. And I'm seeing... Yeah, for some of you, this was someone you were in a relationship and someone may have been like unfaithful or just like was acting like a player, like somehow immature or something like that. Like someone wasn't ready to commit in a way and I'm seeing the relationship end and I'm seeing this person be so sad. Like they're feeling sad, they're feeling heartbroken, this may be something mutual, but I'm seeing like most of the feeling that's being experienced is by whoever the person is that had I'm hearing the transgression I'm hearing that so clearly transgression so it's like you could have been in a situation with someone where it's like you wanted some sort of commitment and it's like I'm hearing grandfathered in again it's like you had to you had to call something out. It's like you had to put your foot down in some sort of way. It's like somebody's behavior was just unacceptable. It got to a point. And it's like, even though, like, obviously this isn't a wanted situation and there's definitely healing that's needed from it. It's like, at least it's over. I'm seeing something like that here. You don't have to deal with something anymore. It's interesting, though, because I'm seeing the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck related to the Three of Swords, so it's like, you could have had some sort of premonition about this, or, like, maybe even some sense of knowing, or maybe this was something that didn't even happen once, and, like, I'm getting that you had some sort of knowledge about this, okay? And maybe we didn't want to listen to what our intuition was telling us. If you hear noises, it's Octavia up there. I saw 744 when I looked up. I'm being really drawn to the spilled cups here. Maybe something going on with substances, maybe drinking, maybe like substance use, something like that. I'm seeing it almost be like some sort of chain reaction of what happened. It's like this person seems a bit unstable in a way. It's like emotionally I'm seeing that there's like a lot of turmoil, a lot of stuff going on. And it's like this person may have been in like some type of like, I don't even know, maybe party mode or maybe not wanting to settle down or being like, I'm young, I'm going to take advantage right now. But it's like there was some type of commitment. There's like something broken. I'm hearing the seal is broken. Again, I'm seeing, like, the the heaviest amount of emotion that's tied to the regret of this happening is with the person who I'm hearing transgressed. I keep hearing that. So it's, like, whoever was the one that did something that had things, like, fall apart in a way, I'm seeing, like, a very heavy heart that is being experienced. So know as well that if you had a situation happen and like maybe externally you didn't think that someone was bothered by an ending or something like that, they definitely did not get off scot-free. I don't know if that was something you were like waiting to know or not, but yeah, I'm seeing this person, I'm just seeing like a, at the bottom of it, it's just a lot of feeling sad. It's like, I'm seeing also a fluctuation of emotions as well. Okay, and now I'm looking at temperance coming out here. So what are you doing now? I'm seeing you kind of bossing up in a way. I don't know what it is exactly that you're doing here. Mm, reflecting. 
I'm seeing you really, um, like maybe if you were socializing more often or maybe like somehow involved in some sort of scene, I'm seeing you take a step back from that. In the first spread, I'm looking at Libra, I'm looking at Pluto, I'm looking at Gemini, and I'm looking at Aries, and they're like all very tightly there together. So here I'm looking at Sag and Virgo next to each other. So I'm seeing you kind of taking some time to yourself now, maybe more reflecting that you're doing. I'm also hearing weighing your options. It's like maybe you even feel like there's an abundance of feelings that you're having and you're kind of trying to... I'm hearing swim your way through the ocean. It's like swimming the way, swimming your way through the ocean of this emotional experience that you're having. Again, I'm getting something about oscillation. It's like you're feeling this way one minute and then the next minute you're feeling another way about it. And it's like trying to ride the wave right now rather than having it crash on top of you. Okay, so there's a decision that needs to be made. So what are we going to do here? Um, I'm getting this message for sure from your guides. If there's some sort of important decision that you're making, if you are feeling emotionally all over the place, you're being guided to ground that energy prior to making a decision. You're being guided to reflect. Maybe this is also, you could be, there could be some sort of opportunity that's opening itself up to you, but it's like you're still really not in a place to be making decisions or so you feel. This may be to be in a connection with someone, like some type of relationship. I'm seeing someone come through and message you. But meanwhile, I'm seeing you reflecting here. So maybe you're not ready to be out and about. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody manifesting a dialogue with you. And I'm getting that what you're concerned with right now is getting into a peaceful, grounded, centered space. Because I'm seeing, again, a lot going on emotionally. Yeah, you may, you may be having a conversation with somebody from the past. I'm not getting that this is a new person. I'm getting that this is someone you could have had a relationship with in the past. I'm looking at Mercury. I'm seeing a conversation that we're having with someone. It's like maybe, maybe revisiting something even... Okay, so you're working with this person in some sort of way, whether this is like maintaining some conversation space with them is what I'm hearing. Feelings may also be involved in this. Like, I'm getting this as someone you care for. Let's see. Yeah, there, there are definitely emotions that you feel towards this person, but I'm not sure exactly of what the nature is now because as I said before I'm getting that this is someone from your past that you had some type of close dynamic with but I don't know where you stand with them now but I am seeing an active dialogue that you're having with this person this is someone that you have I'm hearing a long history with I'm hearing long standing I'm hearing getting into the thick of it This person may not have come through yet. You could be waiting to hear from them. Okay. What's this about? I'm seeing something hidden here. I'm seeing a lesson.
It's almost like some deep type of memory that you have with this person back when you guys were together. I'm seeing them come through and talk to you and I'm seeing there be a back and forth, but then I'm seeing an ending. And now I'm looking at the magician and the seven of pentacles. I'm hearing face off. Yeah, it's like something was hidden and then there's some type of cycle that's ended and then I'm seeing you transition into a different space. Okay, so there's a lot going on here I'm getting. I'm looking at the Ten of Wands. I'm looking at Pisces. I'm hearing Scorpio so strongly. I'm looking at Pisces and I'm looking at Saturn. Yeah, I'm seeing you feel overwhelmed. I'm seeing you also feel conflicted about something. This is a karmic test that you're moving through. I'm seeing all wands here. I'm looking at the ten of wands, the five of wands, and I'm looking at the nine. It's like maybe you feel like your defenses are up a bit in a way because of something like I'm seeing there be a lot of stress that you're experiencing. And the eight of wands was the one leading us into the ten, the five, and the nine of wands you're going through a transformation you may be experiencing like a lot of difficulty and turmoil at this point in time but it's leading into something else for you like this is meant for your growth i'm seeing i was looking at scorpio on the bottom of the deck Maybe you're also kind of fighting yourself too. It's like, I'm, I'm almost getting it. Like you're carrying so much and you feel so overwhelmed and something is about to break, but I'm getting that there's like some, I'm hearing beauty in the breakdown. I think that's a song. We're going to find out about this. Or maybe lyrics. It's a song by the scene aesthetic. That's what I'm seeing mainly here. Interesting. Hmm. Look up the lyrics if you feel guided. But yeah, I'm getting it almost like you get to a point where it's just like the breaking point and maybe something that you had been resisting. I'm hearing resisting change. But this is part of a karmic contract. Okay. A karmic contract for you. Yeah. This is meant to help you. What this is that you're going through. Yet it is something very difficult I'm seeing. There's definitely a lot of tension. A lot of turmoil. Yeah. But things are going to be balancing out. I'm telling you this is about embracing this and moving with it. Because you're being put into a position that's going to feel much better. Like there's a definite sense of ease that you are going to be feeling. But there's also a sense of overwhelm conflict turmoil that you feel prior to transitioning into this space of ease maybe you were also having a difficult time sleeping or relaxing something like that yeah i'm telling you this is going to lead you into such a happier place it's like maybe you even have time now to be resting and maybe you weren't getting that before maybe you were feeling like so much was going on it's interesting i'm almost seeing these wands kind of like air energy so it's like a lot of thoughts that are going on a lot that you're processing i'm hearing moody and i'm seeing us transition into a place we're going to be once we pass through this karmic test into a place where things feel like they're balancing out you feel like you can finally relax and it's like you're looking on the bright side of things now Yeah, I'm looking at the Ten of Pentacles. 
it's definitely this notion of being like, yeah, it's stressful right now. There is a lot of work that needs to be done, but it's going to pay off for you. I'm seeing this work that you're putting in right now. And it's like, I'm seeing you even making some sort of plan to have some sort of getaway or relaxation. This can even be like taking an hour to do self-care, something like that. It's kind of helping you get back on your feet in some type of way. And I'm seeing that you're planning for a big, um, a big life transition. It's like, maybe you even feel like whatever was going on in your life kind of got you away from your happy place. And now you're trying to find that again and get reconnected with it. Yeah, I'm almost getting it like whatever this opportunity is that you have that's kind of changing things up, I'm hearing the switch up. Whatever it is that's changing now, it's kind of giving you this time to transition into a new energy, maybe where you're reorienting yourself to the things that you want. And maybe you're feeling more vocal about this too. Yeah. It's like... I'm seeing there be a transition where you're getting better at expressing yourself as well. And I'm seeing that you're going to be starting something new. This experience, this karmic test you're going through is definitely the catalyst for you to pursue something you feel passionately about. This can be a project you want to work on, something creative. You may even be on some sort of platform. I'm looking at the High Priestess. Maybe something spiritually you feel connected with or you feel destined to be doing. It's like something your intuition wanted you to know. I'm hearing clearing and healing. I'm seeing you be successful with this. I'm seeing you go through some major, major healing process. I'm seeing you also getting more connected with your intuition, maybe a sense of spirituality in a way. Something you want to be working on, something you want to be starting. And this is about like really digging your feet in and pulling through in a way where you're exercising endurance to get through the end of this cycle for yourself. And I'm seeing things really be clarified for you emotionally, also where you want to be going. Things are going to be revealed to you. I'm seeing you get connected with the high priestess as well. You may be doing healing work. I'm hearing mission, I'm hearing ministry. There's something that you're going to be doing that's connected with your intuition and in some form of healing creation. Something you want to be pursuing. Something you feel inspired and motivated by. Like this could get you connected with maybe mysticism in a certain way. Something like that. I'm looking at the moon and I'm looking at Aquarius here. Maybe learning more how to get more deeply in touch with your intuition maybe you feel like you had a novice type of energy in a way and you're getting more serious about getting more connected with the high priestess like maybe there's some form i'm hearing form of art something that you're pursuing for some of you this can be getting into tarot again some sort of mysticism i'm hearing crystals i'm hearing rocks I'm seeing something, I'm seeing something, it's almost like these colorful loops or, or something, or like, I don't know, something that maybe stacks on top of each other, I'm, I'm seeing something circular or semi-circular that stacks on top of each other and they're all different colors, it's like different rungs or something. Okay. Interesting. All right, we are going to end the reading here. I'd like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.